You can't feel it, but it's happening. It affects your day, your year, your life. Without it, your life would not be the same. Without it, you would probably die. I am, of course, talking about the Earth's rotation. The Earth rotates at nearly 1,000 miles per hour at its equator, spinning on its axis. To cut a long story short, the Earth rotates due to the hydrogen gases and angular rotation, completing its revolve every 24 hours. This allows for night and day as faces of the globe turn away or turn to greet our sun. Life as we know it is wholly tied to this movement. Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to answer exactly those. I'm Rebecca Felgate and today we're asking the pretty scary question of what would happen if the earth stopped spinning? Spoiler alert, it isn't pretty. It is worth mentioning to avoid confusion that the earth's spin is not the same as its orbit around the sun. The sun's gravity keeps us in orbit. What would happen if we fell out of the sun's orbit is a different but similarly catastrophic question. But for now, we're assuming that we are still in the sun's orbit, but the earth's natural rotation has stopped. At the moment, we are currently spinning along with the earth and are held down by gravity. We can't feel how fast we're going because of the momentum, the same way you can't feel how fast you're traveling in a plane or car. If the earth suddenly stopped spinning, it does not mean that we would, as the earth would still be orbiting around the sun. Like applying the emergency brakes on a car and jerking forward, everything on earth would launch sideways to the east at almost 1,000 miles per hour, the same rate as our Earth's former rotation. This means that people, buildings, trees, cars, animals would all be launched into an unsurvivable spin. The Earth's rotation controls gravity, which we would lose if it stopped, but this would not mean we would be flung off the planet, because we would be traveling far too slowly. The Earth's escape velocity is 40,000 kilometers an hour. This spinning would be worse the closer you were to the equator. Those far, far away at the very northern tip of Greenland or the Arctic and Antarctic wouldn't feel too much. This is because the northern and southern extremities of the Earth barely rotate. They're only seasons coming from the Earth's orbit of the sun, meaning at the moment, some places get almost 24 hours of sunlight in the summer and 24 hours of darkness in the winter. Closer to the equator, if you were able to miraculously survive the violent spinning, you may not be able to deal with the 1000 mile per hour wind smashing debris into you and other debris. This surge would also cause huge huge tidal waves and tsunamis, washing over cities up to 17 miles inland. If you thought that the tidal wave was bad, wait and see what will happen to the oceans over time. Currently the oceans bulge around the equator thanks to our spinning, however if the earth stopped spinning, the oceans would be drawn to the poles because they would be the places with the most gravity. This would flood huge parts of the world, anywhere north of Chicago and Portland, so goodbye Canada. Almost all of Europe would be underwater too, meaning huge loss of life and infrastructure. Basically, those who avoided the chaotic spinning close to the equator would drown as the ocean submerged their homes. The ocean around the equator would effectively packed up and left, creating a huge supercontinent like a belt around the globe. Without the ocean, the level of drought along the belt would be very high. Of course, with all this ocean moving, a huge percentage of marine life will also die. Like the ocean, the Earth's atmosphere would be drawn to the magnetic poles if we stopped spinning. This would mean a very, very thin Thin, probably non survivable atmosphere around the middle continental belt. Without the Earth's constant spinning, there would be no night and day like we know it. Instead of a day being 24 hours, it would be 365 days long. There would be six months of summer and six months of winter, meaning extreme heat in some parts of the Earth for the extended periods of time and extreme cold in others. This would be chaotic for wildlife and for humans alike. Earth's magnetic field is a result of its constant spinning, and we need this field to protect us from harmful solar flares. Without it, if the Earth stopped spinning, a solar flare could roast many of us alive. Again, the increased summer temperature and high wind would also mean dramatically more forest fires. The final icing on the cake is that, without the Earth spinning, the moon would eventually smash into us. It would take millions of years and we would all be long dead, but blimey, what a collision. The only chance we would have of survival if the Earth stopped spinning would perhaps to be to live underground, where we would not feel the effects of the chaos above us. Even then, we may never be able to leave and live life as we know it. Also, sunlight is pretty key to our survival, think of that. Essentially, if the Earth stops spinning, life for everything and everyone on 
on earth would be pretty grim. That is, if there was any life left at all. So thank you for tuning in to this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. Don't worry you guys, the earth isn't about to stop spinning. You can all live to see another day. With all this life that you're enjoying, why don't you like this video and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Also leave me a comment and tell me what videos you want us to make in the future. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. Remember to stay curious, stay safe, and never ever stop questioning. Oh,